thanks for joining me to color. Today we're going to be coloring this adorable Whimsy Stamps image called Cupcake Treat. Isn't he cute? I love him. I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I used. I really appreciate you shopping with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Okay, so let's start out by giving our bug a quick outline. For that, I'm going to use B quadruple zero. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to go all the way around. Give it a little bit of a shadow around the outside. I'm going to go around these swirls. Same for this one. And I like to do this first so that in case um, I need to erase some, it's super easy. And I don't have to worry about touching anything else I might have already colored if I do it first. Because I would definitely grab some color off of my image and drag it out into the outside. our way down to the bottom. And I better go in this little flower over here. And I didn't worry about the ground because I'm going to stick it behind um, a border, so I didn't do that. Next, let's do the cupcake wrapper. For that, we're going to use E44, 43, 42, and 41. I'm going to start with E44. And let's go right along. Let's see here. Move that. Let's go right along where underneath the frosting. And then I'm going to go down the lines. Then I'm going to add E43. And I want to touch the, my E44 and just go right down beside it. Just softening that edge. And we'll add E42. And I want to make sure to touch down on my E43. Again, we're just softening that edge. And then I'll go over the last three with my E41. I'm just going to brush right over the top. Let's do the bug next. For him, we'll use E41, E50, and YR30. I'm going to start with my E41. And let's do down here on his foot. And how about this foot? I'm going to go around that little foot pad because I'm going to color that pink. And then we'll do his body. And I'm going to do his arm. Then I want to add E50.
and then we'll add our YR30 to fill that in. And I'm going to do his little belly. Then for his face, we'll do E41 first. I'm going to bring that up here in his hair. And then I'm going to bring it around the outside and back over to the other side. And for this side of his face, I'm going to bring it in just a little bit more. Then I'm going to add E50. And then I'm going to go over that with my E, or my, with my YR30. I'm going to just swipe over his whole face. And then I'm going to give him a whole second coat because I want him to be a little bit more brown. So I'm going to grab my E41. And that includes his body down here, so let's go ahead and just add a little bit down here. Just give him a second coat. And then we'll do E50. And then we'll go over that with our YR30. For his cheeks, we're going to add um, R20 and 30. Let's do R20 first. And let's see. Let's brush from this little line here. And we'll use the same little cheek puff on this side. And then I'm going to add a little bit to his little foot pads down here. And then we're going to soften it with R30. I think I'll give it a second coat of my R20. Just on the outside out here. And then I'm going to swipe over that with my YR30. And 
And then for his little nose, we're going to use W7. So for I want to leave a little white space in there. So I'm going to go all the way around. So let's just start right here. I'm going to go all the way around. And then I want to leave a little white patch. So I'm going to go like this and just leave a little white spot right there in the middle. For his wings and the cupcake frosting, we're going to use R00 and triple zero. I'm going to start with my R00. And let's start up here on his wing on this right side. So I'm going to color the outside of his wing. So let's go right in here. And then we want to do down here on the bottom. And then I'm going to do this little dot right here in the middle of this circle. And then I'm going to do the inside of this wing right here. So let's brush it a little bit away from his foot. And then I'm going to use this right in here in this little um, where his wing comes back up and connects to his body. All right, and then for this side, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do the inside one. And then I want to brush away from my wings here. So let's do this way. in this circle. I'm going to give it a second coat. Then we're going to add R triple zero. So I'm just going to brush right on the edge of that R double zero and fill in the rest of my space out here. I just want to soften this edge. And I might even give it another coat. And I think I will. I think I'll grab my R00 and give it another coat. Give him lots of pink. And then we'll soften that with our R triple zero. Okay, we want to use the same colors down here on the frosting. So again, I'm going to start with my R double zero. And let's see. Let's go underneath of him or her, whichever you prefer. I guess I'm making him pink, so he probably could be a girl. Cute either way. Let's kind of give it some shadows in here. Underneath those little candies. And he's got a little bit of frosting right here on the ground, so I'm going to give that a little bit of color. And some in his mouth, so let's go ahead and dab that. And then we want to soften that with our R triple zero.
And I think I'll give it a second coat. So let's go R00 again. Make it really pink like the wings. And then we'll soften that with our R triple zero. There's got a couple little candies there on top of the cupcake frosting that I'm gonna use R24 and 43. I'm gonna start with my R24. I'm going to do a little dab of that down here towards the bottom. And then there's one down here on the ground. And then I'm going to fill it in with my R43. For the leaves over here by the flower, we're going to use G24 and 20. We're going to start with G24. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to give it a little swipe at the bottom. And then I'm going to fill it in with my G20. For the flower, let's use Y21 for the center. And nothing too great there. We're just going to color that in. And then for the flower itself, I'm going to use B01, double zero, and triple zero. I'm going to start with B01. And I'm just going to brush away from that center and bring it a little bit up into my petals. And then I'm going to add B00. And then I'll go over those with my B000. I'm going to make it a little bit darker in the center there with my B01 for a second coat. So I forgot this little blob of cupcake frosting there that he's holding, so let's do R00. And then we'll do our R triple zero. And I'm going to give it a second coat, so let's do RO2, or RO double zero. And then our second coat of R triple zero. So for the inside of his wings, I colored those with my Spica. Um, glitter pen, so I've got gold, silver, and then a Sakura jelly roll pen. I think this one is Stardust. Um, it's kind of a clear, sparkly color, kind of with silver bits in it, but it doesn't say on the label, so I'm just going to guess that it's called Stardust. But we're going to start with our gold one. And for my little um, bits here, I just added some little dots along the bottom of his wing. And then let's do a few up here. And then we did the same thing for these up here. I just kind of gave them some dots in the little spots. There. And 
and then I added some to this little circle here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this side. This one. And draw a little circle. And then he's got a couple little um, circles up here on this little swirl. I'm going to go ahead and add some in there. Oh, right here. And then I'm going to take my silver one. So silver, here we go, silver. And I'm just going to go right over the top of the gold. And then we will do the Secura Jelly Roll. Just add some of that, little glittery sparkles in there. I will go with a second coat of my gold. So now I'm going to take my Spica Glitter Plan in clear, and I'm just going to go over all of these little swirls. And add some glitter. I think I'll bring this one down along the top of his wing here. Maybe add some out here. my little guy here. And then since I outlined the other wing, let's outline this one. Better do his bottom wing too, I suppose. I should probably do the bottom wing over here. So there is our adorable cupcake treat all colored up. Didn't it turn out cute? It's just so adorable. I will list all the supplies I use down in the description box. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you would like more information or would like to see more pictures, head over to the store blog and I will post the finished card over there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video. I would love that. I'm also going to do a video putting the card together. So if you'd like to see that, I will put a pop-up at the top of the screen. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring with me today and are having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.